What's going on everyone, I'm Tommy, this is John, and we are here at Goodwood Festival of Speed, and this is Future Lab, where we look at all the future things to come. In the future. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and we're sat in this lovely car, which is all about autonomous driving. This is from London-based company called Etherwick Studios, and this is Aero. And as the name suggests, he basically cleans the air as he drives on the road. He solves drives, and the beautiful thing about this car is you can also customize it to be your own. So for example, the Oppo Street that you can see right here, you can customize it to be different colors, different configurations. So for example, this has got what, four? Four seats. And the all recline as well, which is pretty cool. But if you want it, you can have a bed in here if you want to. You have a screen. You can have a screen. In fact, they just um, launched a wallpaper design as well. So you can actually cover this panoramic roof, which is very airy. Um, you can cover in different designs as well that's been de designed by people. I love the design on the outside though. I love the color combination that they've actually got and here even as the well. Textured the finish. textured finish, it's quite, it's quite unique. It is, it's like it is. One of the designers we were speaking to earlier said they're trying to, they're trying to move away from how cars exist now. Yeah. And they're looking to the future to try and see how cars could be if we reimagined them. That's right. So I think one of the interesting things about this is they said they want to look at it as a room outside of your home. That's it. It's that's not it. just a car. You're taking a first class situation if you've ever been, if I've never been in first class, but based on pictures, uh, this is what that would be on the road. And I love that they're thinking outside of the box because when people talk about cleaning the air and you know emission and stuff like that, a lot of this emission actually comes from other vehicle on the road. So if we can have cars that are actually cleaning the air as they drive through it, that'd be amazing. And it's got a, a word class leading uh, HEPA filter, which means, again, it's filtering air. It's not only good for the environment, it's also good for you in the car as well. So someone like me who suffers from a fever, yeah, for example, I'll be breathing in cleaner air being inside of this car. And it's autonomous as well, self-driving. So you can't ask for more than that in terms of what it is. But the design is very interesting though. The yeah. wheels are huge. Well, they said that this one's maybe a little bit like a little bit larger than actual real life scale. Yeah. This is kind of just to prove the concept of what they can do. And I love that you've got like big open doors. You wanted to step in and out of it. Yeah. It feels like a, a nice kind of family car, or even if you had a business meeting. Yes. Like you could just keep the meeting going between venues. Like say if we did CES in this. Yeah. You yeah. could do your interviews on the way to the next ven on the way to the next venue. I yeah. think that's really cool. So as you'd well. be able to summon the car, have a meeting, for yeah. example. Or if I'm to schedule a meeting with someone else, I can send this to pick them up. Yeah. That kind of stuff. And you can have it in air or you know, do whatever you want. You know what they're missing in air though? What? Prosecco bar. Mini fridge. A mini fridge where Right there. Where you can just, you know, maybe even have a gesture where you can just go. Yeah. I mean because it's autonomous, it. you're not driving, so Exactly. You can enjoy it. Exactly. But that's been it for Aero. I think it's, it's such a great idea and this is where the future is going. Self-driving vehicle, but not just self-driving, but also functional. And not just electric, but it yeah. cleans the air. That's yeah. the craziest thing about this car. And I remember when they first started talking about self-driving vehicles and all the concepts I've seen from various manufacturers has always been about buying back time. Because as a driver, whilst you're driving, you're wasting two hours. If you're driving two hours yeah. drive, for example, that's time. two hours gone of you doing nothing. Uh, you can't send letter, uh, letters, emails. you can't send emails, <laughs> you can't, you know, take meetings, but being able to do that at this, now you can take meetings, yeah. you can buy back time, which is very advantageous. Well, that is one of the interesting things about future tech, it's finding ways to let us, like you said, buy back time to live our lives a bit more fully yeah. and in a more, I guess wellness is at the center of it. That's right. That's like right. It's not just a car and it's not yeah. just getting from A to B. This is time that we could use for leisure or for work. That's right. So this is scheduled for production from 2023, yep. uh, which I hope I'm alive. <laughs> but but um, I'm looking forward to it. I think 2023 is a year where we're going to see a lot more futuristic cars. Um, the government here is already, you know, fast yeah, track. 2026, it, I think. Yeah, there's a fast track for that to start, you know, having autonomous vehicle on road. And uh, there's a big push on having electric vehicles. So this is going to be fully electric as well. And they've got their own, uh, they're thinking of building their own infrastructure for charging as well, which is very important when it comes to electric vehicles. But I'm pretty much looking forward to it and see where they take this. I hope they really push this and take it further. And, and I want to see what the next iteration of this will be, whether it's another concept or an actual production vehicle. I hope they keep the corduroy seats. Yeah, this is pretty cool. These this really this nice. will go with lots of uh, sneakers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Imagine a mobile sneaker room. You can have a, a draw here. Yeah, that would be sick. But let's round it up. Um, this is it for Aero. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Make sure you check out our highlights video as well. There's so much that we've covered here, but we sort of summarize some of the coolest ones uh, that you might like to see. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, and uh, hit the bell notification. So you can be one of the first to know when we put a new video on this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.